Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> this is uh, one of Jubing's most popular tracks. And they, I think it's actually in the video from what you guys have told us. And we've never actually checked it out. It's called Mere a, a Shiki. And uh, let's give it a watch. Okay. It's just featuring Jubing, so I don't know what's up. But let's okay. give it a watch. It's Roca Coli. Right. First time. For the gods. Oh, wow. Oh, he's oh, acting. Here's the mayhem. And he's the singer, okay. And, and he's also he... acting. Ooh, this is cool. What do you mean? Papa ne meri shaadi kahin aur tay kar di hai. Pehle papas aa jaunge. Papas. It's a W. Ooh, what a resonant voice. I'm going to guess what <laughs> happened there. He, I I think she said Maybe we're not meant for each other right now, but whenever, if we cross past again, and paths again, and fate decides it to be... Like serendipity I will love into... you. Oh, and then okay. he said, would you promise? And she just walks away. To, to me, it's quite a shitty promise. Oh, come on. She has be... to say, yes, I promise, my love. And then she fucks up. <laughs> not just... Proceeds to walk yeah, away. Nice. Is this my... Oh, no. Sorry, I'm waiting for my subway. <laughs> Go on, no. Go on. Ooh, okay. What a place! I love Jubing, man. Ooh, what a vibe! They See, find so each think, other. They find yeah, each so other. Think, so it's like yeah, it's th time. Yeah, genuinely, I think the 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 focus on the deities or the gods is sort of a representation of that. The the bigger forces at play. Um, it's it, your love is meant to be. Exactly. You better take your chance now or Can never. Can I say tough on the other geezer? No, well, very she tough. Promised. Yeah. She promised. Yeah, tough. It's, <laughs> a, it's actually quite exciting. This makes you really happy. I like when things go that way. I have to say as well. Jubing is probably one of the best examples on the focus on melody and uh, uh, being able to encapsulate emotions through a, a piece like this, which then sort of surpasses all barriers, like for example, the language barrier. Correct. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Uh, the other guy just stands there. Just, poor old John. Just imagine his name was John. The other guy is just, just standing done. there and then just, oh, like, okay, you know, I'll pay for your drink. That's I'll right. here. Nice guys finish last, dog. Yeah, I was gonna say what happens to the other dude. Yeah, that triplet in the high has so nice. Where, where was this film though? It's incredible. Look at this freaking place, though. It's insane. What? What is this like? Is part that, of, is, a, of the, is this a river? Is this the sea? What? Mm. I'm confused as hell. We're in the mountains. Is it though. also like? Uh, is it? Is it warm? Because it, it it looks like it'll be quite cold actually. But it seems it's it's rather like inviting. Mountainous. Yeah. Yeah. But it seems rather inviting. Like you wanna to be there. Like yeah, you wanna yeah. you jump, know, jump in. in the drink. <laughs> yeah, jump in the drink. Yeah. <laughs> Great video, bloody hell. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. That's the magic of. I presume this is Hindi, but I would say this about there's different magics in different languages in India, right? But I presume this is Hindi, I could be wrong. But this is what I like a lot about some of the Indian music compositions because it seems in Hindi every letter gets uh, pronounced. pronounced literally yeah so like it, it creates this odd ability to for rhythmicality I agree. that's natural on the language but also naturally melodious because it's quite elongated things and they're, they're, there's lots of ums um so but that but you, you can't find that anywhere else also that particular singing phrase is super cool because the singing uh, progression of the chords is so unpredictable mm. so it gives you this like tension building but at the same time it gives you like suspense like you don't really know what the outcome of that singing phrase will be put that put that, that section like that. see 
Yeah, yeah you see, see what I mean? Yeah, it's like that that allows even to... the B has like a sound of its own. Fuck! It's so clean. It's so good. You see, but you don't really know where the phrase is gonna end. I do have this urge to learn a bit of Hindi oh. uh, because in the songs it sounds so good. Like that, Meria Shiki Pasande Aye. That sounds so clean. And that I understand as well why I'm starting to like a lot of Indian rap. Because <laughs> that you have a spe specific uh, qualities phonetically, mm -hmm. um, which is kind of like a cheat code if you speak Hindi or you speak Tamil or Malayalam because they kind of uh, do the same thing in terms of every letter is kind of pronounced. Um, so in rap, you can fucking use that to your advantage, dude. Correct. Or correct. in music, or in sort of alternative uh, music like this. I do think that the singing phrases are more elongated than they would Definitely. be in any other yeah. language. So they allow for rhythmicality and and melody to be the main priority of everything. You know? Also, new couch. <laughs> it's a bit higher up, though, isn't it? Fuck I yeah. look so tall. I love it. It's <laughs> But serendipity. Come on, they both must have known that this was about to happen. Like, you can't just run off and leave one guy just standing there and thinking he's not gonna come find you. I'm you know? jubing. <laughs> <laughs> literally. Serendipity. What's serendipity. your pickup line? I'm jubing. I'm jubing. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> She did promise. Oh no. Damn, that's a short and a half. Wow. That's so interesting, right? That sort of ending. Let's have a look at the lyrics. But yes, it's but so what? intriguing that interpretation because obviously it's the more what would you call it accurate representation of reality, how it, yeah, it would probably play out. The love you of your life. Run off, you know, run exactly. Off. That's not how it would play out. Um, it and I understand. Cool, <laughs> and I understand as well the sort of cinematography behind things that it, it does seem way too cinematic at points. Yeah, so yeah. it kind of does highlight like this it, idea that this is fantastic. This is you know this is fantastical. This isn't actually real. Correct. Like it broke that idea of real like realism. realism. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. Um, well, it's like a fantastical realism, right? Is that mm -hmm. what it's called or something like that? I yeah, learned yeah, that yeah. in English class. Some it, bollocks. Correct. Correct. Um, so. That, but that, that scene at the end with sort of the deities, the gods, and him, it's as if he sort of surrendered to them. And, and if he wasn't meant to be, he wasn't meant to be. Yeah, and he's right. not going to try and tempt fate or disrupt the disrupt destiny sometimes. Disrupt the natural course of life. Because that's right. That's, that's, what that's, like. that's actually what's happening. She, you know, she moved on. So the lyrics, yes. apologies for the, you probably can't even read it. Uh, it says, the raining season had come and gone, but no one could replace you in my heart. I sang your name every time I prayed. I can't learn to forget about you. This is one of the beautiful things about Indian lyricism is that it's always somewhat interconnected or interlinked into so much more than just life. It goes spiritual yeah, um, yeah, yeah. a lot of the time. And I, like the reason for being comes from above. Like yeah, there's, right. the, there's something else at yeah. play. Yeah. I have a heart, but I don't know why it hasn't beaten for a long time. Oh. Yeah, I pray to God. I pray to God that you'd only choose my love from among all your lovers. <laughs> it is only my prayer to God that you should choose my love from among all your lovers. Is that that sentence? Uh, what is that sentence? It says... Oh, that's Mary Ashiki Pasande Aye. Okay. And then okay, it goes... Okay. Please just say something. How am I supposed to address this problem? Please say something. How am I supposed to address uh, resolve this issue? Why don't we just pretend to keep my heart... You could even break it into pieces. It hasn't been broken for a long time. Oh yeah. my that's god! Like, that's Imagine like a, that. That's like that sentence of uh, the worst. What is it? The the worst is not 
not being loved, it's being ignored or something like that. Mm-hmm. Like that's the absolute worst, worst thing yeah. you could possibly think of. I yeah. live in the bit. <laughs> I die every second. How am I supposed to take care of myself? Please tell me. Uh, without you, my heart f- feels hollow. You don't know how hard it was for me to live without you all these days. I wonder what the fuck they say to each other then, because why? Why aren't they just together? Well, because yeah, what it's was life. the yeah? Because maybe it just wasn't the right time. At right that person, moment. wrong time. Could be, but apparently there's never a right time. That's right. Very oh. tough. Look, music was fantastic, and I'm sure this is a song that a lot of people have loved. Um, well, it has four million likes, so I think... It has like think, 400 million views. I know, so I think it's a, it must be a favorite. <laughs> Let us know what you guys thought about it, and then what else should we check out next? Okay, goodbye.